cleats, you can get snagged really bad on your knees. Okay? You want to be able to stay on the balls and be able to rotate. Okay? Uh, okay, first step, set up, start the coil, continue the coil. And this part right here, this, this is essentially your power, your power stand. This is where you want to be, right here. Okay? Depending on how you launch, I, I just take a, a few steps like, like, like you see. Some guys hop, some guys hey. run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They do, yeah, they do that, right? But the, the one thing, one thing you guys need to remember is all of that movement, all that running, they all get into this position right here. This is your power position. Doesn't matter how you get there. Just get here, okay? And full coil. Once you get there, to that position, one, two, three, four. This part, this foot, initiates the, the release, it initiates the uncoil. It's basically pushing the leg, it pushes the hip, pushes the torso, and, and then essentially, ultimately, the shoulders. My arm is here just to guide the plane and hold it. This is what it's doing when it's launching. That is essentially just holding on to the plane. So it, it really feels like a, like a whip. Okay, so one, two, three, four. That's it. The last part of the launch, probably one of the more important ones, is the follow through. Do you guys play golf? Who plays golf? Tennis, the follow through. You don't try to hit the ball and stop right here. You try to stop your power right here. Similar with golf, okay? You hit through the ball. Same thing with DLG. You follow through. Basically what it's doing is keeping the, the, the plane straighter it reduces the wag once you release. A lot of times, you'll see it from the beginners too, uh, when they sort of release a little late. The plane does this, right? Once you release, it does that. That's killing a lot of your power, your height. If you follow through, even if it, it takes a split second to do that thing, like that, it feels like a punch. You're throwing your shoulder like this, you just throw your shoulder like that. Similar, it's very similar. It, it'll probably add five to 10 feet to your launch only because it's more efficient once you release it. It's straighter, okay? That's, that's very important. You power through the launch. Don't stop right here at the release point. Don't stop there, power through it. Stop right here, okay? Next thing to remember, the plane setup. Um, Charlie's going to talk a little bit about this. The plane setup. Once you release that plane, you don't want to be rushing to your, to your transmitter. Okay, that plane has to be set up so efficiently that once you release it, the trajectory is this: release, pitch up quickly. Okay, and then throw just a little bit less than 90 degrees. Okay, that's that's the best use of I guess physics okay it's don't don't waste time trying to do fly this way okay go up use all that use all that energy to go up and then make sure it, like once you get to the peak of that, that that launch make sure you have enough speed to kick that elevator put your plane to park it up there okay depending on what you want to do if you want to park it if you if you have enough speed you can go loop back and then go for to our downward thermal okay so essentially four steps okay one two three power position launch okay always keep your feet uh, planted to the ground don't do this okay you're, you're losing you're losing your anchor you're, you're wasting the coil, you're wasting the energy of your body, okay? You stay, you stay, even if you don't have to 
be flat on the ground as long as you're just touching it. Keep it from wasting the energy over here. Keep it flowing up like that. That's it. Where do you release June with the horizon? No. Good question. I don't release it at the horizon. Um, a lot of guys do. Some guys even launch it down. That's, that's up to them. They're comfortable with that. But they, they literally go like this. Like that. Okay, and the plane goes really close to the ground. It's a little scary. But my thing is, why waste all that time launching to the horizon when it's better to launch a little bit up and, and decrease that time pitching up? You know, instead of going up like this gradually, launch it up at 25 degrees. It doesn't have to be 45. You know, just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just to, just, just to lessen that time to pitch up, okay? This is a good angle right here. Right here. That's a good angle right there. What is that, 20, 25 maybe? Okay. And then you have a little bit of trim so it goes up a little bit more. I have a maybe. preset. Um, I guess Charlie can talk about a little bit of uh, preset. There's a little bit of up elevator. Uh, I don't know if you guys know uh, Mike Smith. He's been talking about actually putting a little bit of camber um, on the on the launch preset. So it actually puts the plane in cruise mode. Um, but once you release the, the preset, it goes back to speed mode. What he's saying basically is that it speeds up the pitch. Okay, the, the pitch up time. It, it's actually pretty quick. Uh, I, I'm trying it. I'm not sure exactly if I'm seeing a lot of the, the benefits of it. Um, I, Paul Anderson is one of the, you know, the, the, the TS champion. He's, he's the number one pilot now. He's, he's starting to use that, and he's saying that he's seeing a little bit of a five, ten foot difference in height. It depends, I guess. On your, uh, you were talking about the rotate, oh, I'm sorry, did somebody else ask a question? No, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> um, you were talking about your rotation up to vertical. <clears throat> In a high wind situation, do you still pretty much go vertical or do you flatten it out a little? Yeah, still go vertical. You just okay. release the preset a lot quicker. Okay. Okay. The plane will do, you know, do that. Right. Let it do it. Okay. Don't fight it. Okay. So as you're coming through too, you want to try and keep that plane level or is that plane tipped down a little bit? It's, it's tipped down a little bit. Um, just a it's little it's bit. actually unavoidable. You pretty much let the plane fly yeah. in its own position. It, it, the plane will actually well, guide itself through yeah. if, if your oh. launch setup is proper. Yeah, one of the things I I, I, I haven't actually said uh, said it a lot in the groups, but um, when you're doing the spin, right? If you feel like the plane is flying in your fingers, you're not spinning fast enough. Okay. Yeah. The the goal is even if you have full flaps on this plane, you don't want it to react to that wing. You want to be able to be fast enough that the wing doesn't matter. You can feel that plane look really heavy on the fingertips. Okay? Even if you have camber, it's not supposed to feel like it's flying. You're controlling that thing. 